Welcome to the Pat Sheranian Show. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're on the radio, we appreciate you being on KHQN, 1480 AM. And if you're on the internet, you're at pat.utahvalleylive.com. Welcome to our show. And you can't smell what's going on here. But for the radio audience, I've got the best looking food in front of me. And I can hardly wait to get to it. I think I have to restrain myself or forget this show. It won't go on at all. My guests today are from the restaurant Gloria's Little Italy. And this is Gloria. Hi. Hi. And her husband, Mauro. And uh, we're so glad to have them. We're just almost upstairs from Gloria's Little Italy. It's right on the corner of Center Street and University Avenue, exactly on the northeast corner. And uh, it is divine. I discovered it last week and had dinner Thank there. You. It was so good. And, oh, it's beautiful. I felt like I was in Paris, New York, San Francisco, Beverly Hills. It had elements that I have enjoyed all my life. First of all, it was very friendly and the service was excellent. But the food, mm, yum. We're going to talk some more about that. But I do need to say a couple of things. Uh, let me thank uh, the Kayani uh, sponsorship. The Kayani products have changed my life over the last 15 months. I was diabetic. I had high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and crippling arthritis in my fingers. And all of that has changed. With these products, I'm no longer on any medication. Now, tomorrow night, Tuesday night, there will be a business meeting in Orm just off of 800 North. If you're interested in learning about how you can feel better, and really, really have the energy to do things that you've always wanted to do or somehow no longer do because of age or circumstances, please call me. I'll give you the address because it is in a private home, but the private home does seat 75. So if you're interested in going and learning more about this, the meeting starts at 7 o'clock, and please call me at 801-362-9552, 801-362-9552. And now we get to talk about all this good food. Good. <laughs> now, I met you both the other night, mm -hmm. and uh, such a good story. I thought that that was first the best thing. Then I wasn't sure, but I think the food's the best thing. Okay. Then I like the kids, and they're the best uh -huh. thing. Yeah. So let's hear your family story. Let's okay. hear how you happened to, where you came from. First of all, you have accents that mm -hmm. certainly don't sound like my native South Carolina. They sound <laughs> They're entirely from somewhere else. So yeah. would you like to tell us sure. where and all yes. about you and your family? Yes. I'm from Pisa, and then uh, I born in Marina di Pisa. It's uh, just a half hour to Pisa. Pisa is the big city. And then all my family, they're Italian, of course. And then uh, my husband is, um, is uh, close to Florence. And then I, we have uh, three children one boy and two girls and then uh, they work with us on the business uh, samuele. yeah the name is uh, samuele letizia. and uh, letizia and katie denise and then uh, we have uh, also just a uh, uh, nine months uh, granddaughter is the first one and so we are very happy for all the family and i really want to be thanks thankful for the uh, support my family gave me on this business. Very good. Well, yeah. all right. Now, were you in the restaurant business? I know you were in the jewelry business. Yeah. I think you told me that. Yes, yeah, I'm a goldsmith and uh, also a watch repair, uh, Rolex uh, certifier. Uh, no, Rolex repair. It was this in Italy, or no. was this here? It was here, but I have now uh, thirty, now forty years experience in. Oh, I see. Yeah. Lot, you've been here that long. Mm -hmm. Why did you come here? Why did the two of you? How did you? Well, we came here beer? because uh, we are LDS. Okay. okay. And my husband baptized me in Italy, and then uh, before marriage, and then uh, practically after a few years, uh, we think about it to move here in the state. We have some friends in Utah, and then uh, also for a job uh, to give uh, more opportunity our kids for school and the job. Even if Italy is so beautiful, but it's very hard also to live over there. I'm sure. So now, do you get yes. to go back once in a while? Uh, it's already five years ago we back because uh, when we opened the restaurant, we didn't have uh, very much time to go. You know, yeah. We want to take care of the restaurant, the customer, 
So we know we'll leave the restaurant for two or three weeks, you know. All right. Yeah. Now, again, Gloria's Little Italy is located right on the corner of University Avenue and uh, Center Street in Provo. And the phone number, do they have to have a reservation to come in? Uh, especially Friday, Saturday, I suggest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then let's do this. Let's give out a phone number for Friday and Saturday. And the phone number is, is it on this one? There it yes. is. Yeah. 801. 805-4913, 805-4913, and your number, your address is actually 1 East Center Street, yes, that works, <laughs> Suite 100, yeah. well you can't be more on the corner unless yeah. you're out in the middle of the street, yeah, we are number yeah. one, number you are one, number one, uh, one. Number one. <laughs> absolutely are number one, in the building and then also, <laughs> also in the restaurant, everything. <laughs> with the restaurant. Well, I did ask the other night because mm -hmm. I have eaten a few places around the country and uh, a little outside of the country, but I was so impressed with everything in the restaurant. And you did tell me you had a rating of four and a half stars. Mm -hmm. Does, I don't know that anybody else in the local Utah Valley area has had that rating. Are you aware of that? Um, we have a lot of customers. They come also uh, by uh, not just in Utah County, but Salt Lake, you know, Logan, and then uh, um, they're very happy when they come, you know, and then they very uh, um, making, uh, I mean, they're so happy they hug us, you know, because the food is so good. We made the food from scratch. You know? I know you do. And so I think so we are the number one, yes, yeah. All right, now I want to tell you about this little flyer. And Gloria handed me the two the, uh, this one of these the other day, and we talked about it and added some information. And on the back, now are these being circulated all yes. over town? Yes. yes. And so if you'd like to have people help, or there's some on the front counter so they can pick them up and hand them uh -huh. out with you? Yeah. Yes. This is great. Because what you have is on the back, you have your luncheon combo special. So let's talk a little bit about okay. that. And then before this gets cold, I want to taste it. And while I'm tasting it, both of you jump in <laughs> okay. and tell me what I'm eating uh, sure. um, along the way. So let's start with, let's talk about your okay. menu there for the lunch. All right. Even is dining um, in a restaurant, we have also lunch. And then at the lunch, we have uh, the combo special lunch. So practically, they include the drinks, the bread, the soup. We have uh, three soup. Wait, let me talk about yes. the bread. Okay. Oh, <laughs> did you see what I did the other yes. night? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I, I spend my life dieting, right? So I don't eat bread <laughs> of any kind. So they brought a little bit in a basket, and it just suddenly disappeared. <laughs> it was so good. It had, um, you tell me. Yeah, it's like a fresh garlic, fresh garlic with a ve extra virgin olive and salt and pepper. And so that's uh, the typical. It was the olive yeah. oil that got yes. me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, so it I had been soaked and toasted uh -huh. in olive yeah. oil. Mm -hmm. The olive oil, they're important <laughs> from Italy, so that's why they have a very good flavor. Oh, it was and so good. And then also our cheese, uh, you know. Uh, so when we're making the some dishes and then also the panini, so they're not just the uh, local from here. They're important from Italy, so that's why they're making very good flavor on the dishes on the sandwich. Well, and then when yeah. you said fresh um, garlic, yes. fresh garlic, yes, that one they come from California. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're good with that. We're good with I that. I can bring from Italy. <laughs> Gonna too be much. Wild. Okay. What, what now? Is this on your lunch menu? Uh, yes. yes. It's uh, the fried cheese uh, with the cheese ravioli. Okay. Now we have so, to describe this for the radio sure. audience. So you tell them what it looks like and what's in this, while I'm going to force myself into eating it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So. Okay. It's white. So it's, uh, And it looks mm, like a yeah. little ravioli. Yeah. It's a uh, for kind of cheeses imported from Italy and oh we, we blend together. Oh my goodness, if I prayed, will yeah. I be forgiven? <laughs> we blend together, <laughs> so this. we have all you know, this uh, oh. wonderful taste of cheese melt together. You know? Okay. And, uh, mm. and we, we put also oh my the goodness. Parmesan cheese. Oh, I need to hold it up? Okay, I'm holding it up. Which way? This way? Okay, say it out loud. Yeah, and then uh, we... Oh. Wow. Um, we put also no, a pinch of black pepper to you know, to give it the final flavor. Okay. So Here it's you go. very rich. You see this? It's a very rich uh, 
no creamy cheese. Oh, that is so, so it's good. Delicious. Four different kinds of cheese. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Plus the Parmesan yeah. top it makes yeah, five cheese. Five cheeses. Yeah. So what what is the on the inside of what I'm eating? Is that the four cheeses? The, yeah. the cheese ravioli. Well, so what's the sauce? The salsa the is sauce the is, creamy yeah. salsa melted with the fried cheese. Mm. Yeah. So practically, it's we we have some people here in the yeah. audience. My brother <laughs> is here from California, <laughs> and he's uh, looking like do do not eat all of that. Do not mess with <laughs> all of that, please. And that is so good. All right, now what is this one? Okay, the next one is uh, the salsa rosata with penne, and uh, that one it won uh, the contest, the international national uh, food food. Mm. Uh, it was uh, called. Uh, oh, let me uh, yeah, we had uh, this. Uh, oh, of course, so I'm we won the right best in the international middle. cuisine from 2009, Taste of the Valley, best Italian in 2010. Oh, really? Yeah. Best of the that's put Utah on by the County of Commerce, and best right? Italy with live music for the 2001 Best of Utah County Award. Wow. So we have a Friday, Saturday, we have uh, live music. Oh, that's right. We have, have uh, live music. We have I an accordion that. player. No, uh, playing and sing, s- no, sing. So he's he's very talented man. His name is Keith, uh, Keith Lewis. Keith Lewis. And so okay. please come to no to. What what are your hours? Music. Tell me your hours. In fact, you guys can just talk all you want. To. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, <sorry. laughs> I'm just going to eat away, and this is really yeah, good. Yeah, the hours at the restaurant is uh, Monday to mm. Thursday. 11.30 to 2.30, and then uh, we open the dinner 4.30 to 9, and then Friday 11.30 to 2.30, and then 4.30 to 10, and Saturday we have a just dinner 4.30 to 10. And then the live view music uh, we have uh, just Friday and Saturday, From and it starts at 6 to, to 10. To 10. And it's very, very people they really, very enjoy. It's a fun guys, and then everybody they really, everybody really gets enjoys. involved a little yes. bit. Yes, he play music for kids, uh, for you know requests. Anyway, it's so fun, much, much fun. I need to mention that this is a great restaurant, and it's um, a very fine restaurant. The food, of course, is excellent, but it is a place you could bring children. Yes, yes. if if they like this kind uh-huh. of food, they would yes, love it. I'm not sure about babies we running have around, it, but yeah. they can bring children yeah, because sure. it's we have the kind of food they can no. certainly. We have eat. a menu for menu children for too. Oh, you do? Yes, we okay. do. And then actually, uh, uh, the 23rd the December, that's coming up Santa Claus in uh, my restaurant. Oh, you're going to have Santa right yes. there? Can I so, come? Yeah, Is sure, there a huge limit? sure. <laughs> so please come with all your family. Uh, I suggest to make a reservation. Okay. And then, so Santa Claus is going to bring some candy to the kids. And then uh, we have the, you know, life musical. And then come enjoy it and eat Italian food. You know, and sing and have yes, fun and, and enjoy yeah. Christmas. So you're going to be yeah. open on the 23rd, which yes. is the Christmas yes. Eve. Uh-huh. Or 24th. Yeah. And the 24th, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm off on a date. I'm thinking Thanksgiving. Yeah. So, okay. So and you'll then, be. Uh, yeah, we close just for Christmas. Are you open the 24th then? Uh, yes. But we close Christmas Day. Just Christmas Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then also, um, we have a private room. So somebody, they want to like it for a party or for a business party, Christmas business party. We can, uh, you know, have uh, for uh, 20, 50 people, even more, you know, private room, uh, so they can uh, do whatever they want in the room, uh, and then uh, we we have a different kind of the uh, menu, um, and then uh, so just uh, call at the restaurant, and we can give you all the rest of the Let's information. give this phone number again, because people should be writing this down right away and making reservations, 801-805-4913. And again, Gloria's Little Italy is located right on the corner of Center Street and University Avenue in Provo. Um, I think the Center Street uh, off-ramp coming from the south is still closed and coming from the the north is still Mm -hmm. closed at Center Street. So don't try and get off at Center Street in Provo off I-15. It's a mess out there. All right, now I interrupted you. You were going through the lunch menu and I got so excited about (laughs) eating. Yeah, also we have a Facebook. Oh Facebook yes, page. tell them about Facebook. So we have a p- Facebook page. So so pl- please go there. They just and click in uh, Gloria's. And click, mm-hmm. you know, okay. You like us, and uh, we know we we put uh, the special on Friday, uh, and then we also we have a website, gloriouslittleitaly.com. 
So the re website's Gloria? Gloria Slitholi, Italy. Okay. That, that come. And the same thing for Facebook? Facebook is Gloria Slitholi. Okay. Very good. So they can find you anytime, anywhere. No excuses. Yeah. No excuses. Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to back up just a little bit because I asked a question and then I didn't really get the whole answer. Because okay. you mentioned your family had backed you up in this in Italy. So did you do a lot of cooking beforehand? Yes, yeah, so well, my grandpa, they used to have a tortilla restaurant by the coast, Marina di Pisa. Okay. And so all the family, my dad, uh, part, they have a 13 children. Uh, How many? So 13. 13. 13 children? Yes, so they used to practically work in all, uh, some people, some, uh, the brother by the beach, the sand, uh, and then also some by in the restaurant. So I was very little. I remember it was just uh, spend all the time with my mom and dad, uh, you know, by the beach and, uh, you know, see they was working over there. But uh, I learned uh, some recipe from my dad. And then uh, so when uh, I really have uh, this good talent to make a very good food from scratch, that's why you go back at the penne salsa rosata. Many restaurants, they try to do it, to copy a recipe, but they never do the same because my pomarola so is a homemade and then it's These like a homemade? mama homemade food, you know. Oh my. And so my pomarola, that's why they come very special, the flavor and the salt. So you grew up. You I do, I do, I do, and then actually it's not just on the dishes and the food, but also I love it so much, do cake, I used to do wedding cake, and then I do my European cake, it's also in the restaurant. The one on the end, the chocolate one, is yeah, the, the one that you sent me four. home with the yes. other day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yeah. <laughs> my son got to it before I did uh -huh, which uh -huh. is really a good thing because it's <laughs> practically death by chocolate yeah. <laughs> it is so good and it's loaded with a cream on the inside uh -huh. what in the world is in that cream yeah yes. that one is my invention so I invent that one and then uh, actually all the students from BYU UVU they know because we have a 50 percent off on Saturday after seven o'clock so we have the rush, the student come just to eat all the dessert. Yeah. I can believe it. That's so good. <laughs> yes. And can you see, see the one you're talking about? Yeah. Now, what yes. is that? What's the name? Okay. Tartufo. I call it Tartufo. This traf truffle. It means truffle. 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 And then it's a very cute, you know, bowl with the oil cake, dark chocolate cake. And it then is then so I good. made also my cake. <laughs> so that's why they're not dry, oh, you know, so they're good. very soft. And, and I inside there, my cream. Oh, that's the that then, one. I, I didn't know what was inside. It's okay. Now we can yeah, it open. Yeah, it's my cream. And then, uh, of course, I can tell you the recipe, but it's, uh, I call oh, come it on, Italian come cream. On, come on. <laughs> <laughs> it I wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> I don't cook anyway. <laughs> I call it Italian cream, you know, but uh, it's, yeah, it's in my cream, my recipe cream, and then I melt chocolate on top. Okay, if you want to know some recipe, we have uh, you know, coming up. Uh, cooking classes on January. Oh, you yeah. do? Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, well, tell me about cooking yeah. classes. I don't have that down. I started the first Saturday uh, in the morning, um, 11, 11 o'clock, and uh, to for one and a half hour, and I started doing a cooking class. I used to do in the past, like uh, 20 years ago, and I got uh, two classes for 30 students in each class. And 30 kids yeah. or 30 people. They yeah. can be any ages, over yeah, any 18? Age, any age. Okay. And then uh, practically I will be prepared uh, a kind of book where the, the, all the recipe we're going to talk about all months. It's going to be for four weeks. And then uh, we practically in the end they're going to have, uh, you know, all a free meal. We started for appetizer through the dessert. And then I try to prepare uh, now and during these uh, months all of the recipe, of course, I can give you all the recipe we do on the restaurant, but, uh, you know, I have a thousand recipe can I never use in the restaurant because uh, it will be too much too the much. menu, you know. But, uh, you so know. So, did they call you to register? Yeah, they come we in have register? on the um, Facebook. Facebook page. Okay. They can sign on the Can they call on this number? Yes, yes. they can call Okay, on let's the do the number, number again. This is for the cooking class coming up the 1st of January, and how much? It's going to cost you $250 for a person. Should and you're going to work with them, right? Yes. And then okay. we working out together. I we provide the food. Reasonable. Yeah, we provide the food that they prepare. With they just me. show up. Yes, just show up. 
Feliz me. <laughs> I may take you up on it. Okay. I may take you up. <laughs> that sounds so we're fun just to be it, with yeah, you. Yeah, we're going to learn how, you know, do pizza or ba the Tuscany. Because pizza is from to is the Tuscany. And, if, you know, in Italy there are different kind of regions. So practically Sicily, South, they have a different kind of food they have you know and so i'm gonna learn how making tuscany food you know and then so your husband he can go out to eat just in my restaurant <laughs> and then you guys gonna make the food for him <laughs> during the great. week that'd be so fun <laughs> mario mario tell me how you met her how did you find this gorgeous uh -huh. lady <clears throat> and uh, talented okay uh, after a military service uh, I, I finished in the military service. I know I went on vacation, so of course on the beach. Yes. No, the beautiful ocean of Italy. Yes. So it's you no know, Marina di Pisa, close to Marina, like Gloria said. So I, I met. I was you know, on the beach, and uh, so I saw this wonderful, you no, know, uh, beautiful girl. So <laughs> I approach her. <laughs> And so now, you know, I ask uh, you know, s something, and then, uh, and then I saw her, you know, in the, in the, in the family house. You no, know, I used to live in Marina di Pisa. So and then, you know, so I ask, you know, to to be my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thirteen. <laughs> 13. I, 13. Was, I was almost 13. Okay, you had to yeah. wait a while. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we waited six years six. before marriage. Oh, bless your heart. Yeah. And, and, in, and how long have you been in the States again? Uh, 15. 15, 15, years. 15 years. 15 years. And yeah. then here in this restaurant for three years. Well, and it'll be almost more. Four. Four. Coming almost up on four, four years. Because yeah, we years. started uh, 300, 300 South in Provo. Okay. In a little space. And then we know, uh, so we had a uh, lot of success. And you know, everybody, why you know, go in a larger space? So after one year, I know where you were. Yes, you were down on the east side of the street. Yes, yes. yes. Right yeah. before you get to the viaduct, or right. just on the other side. I can't remember. Right there, where yeah, it, goes it was the, uh, the international village. Yes, it yes. was. Yes. Yes. And so right. now we yeah. make a lot of traffic, uh, especially Friday, Saturday. So the, the neighborhood was complaining about, uh, yes. we don't have a space for the, our car to park in the car. <laughs> so, that's why, no, <laughs> so that's why we move uh, you know, in this bigger place. So we are joining. Oh, this is such a good story. I yeah. just love it now. <laughs> now your background wasn't cooking in the kitchen. No. So how did she get you into the kitchen with her? <laughs> Come yeah, on. Th that's why, so I am a goldsmith. I'm also a watchmaker. So then when Gloria, you know, was uh, the Gloria's dream was to open a, a, no, a restaurant like this. So I joined Gloria. Actually, I didn't, <coughs> when the, I started with Gloria, I didn't know how to cook. Just, uh, no, just uh, the arrabbiata sauce and the carbonara, okay? So I could make only those dishes. So after joining Gloria in these four years, I have learned from her how to cook, how to make uh, no good, good. Now listen to dishes. me. If she can teach a watchmaker how to cook, <laughs> she can teach the rest of us how to cook. That's a real segue from yeah. the watch to a kitchen stove. I think that's great. So, so you've been cooking so with her. Yes. Yeah, so yes. now I you know I yeah. I'm graduating from Gloria's kitchen, <laughs> how to cook. So I'm I'm the chef. She's a chef too. Because oh, he wonderful. prepared also all the menu. We working together, but he prepared the menu. You know, he take care of the advertiser. You know, all those stuff. And yeah, then I'm he, taking care of the quality yeah. of the food. I make he sure. He do the sandwich. He do the lunch. You know, and then he cook also some. Did we even get to the sandwiches? Yeah, we need to finish. Did, now, yeah, right? fin <laughs> <laughs> so many things. So many things. We <laughs> need lots of time. Okay, let's talk about the sandwiches because you just mentioned them for lunch. Okay, but you're not limited to sandwiches for lunch no oh, okay we have pasta okay. yeah so practically they like we back before a lunch combo special we have a four then close drink bread salad or soup we made uh, three kinds of soup uh, we have we have uh, the minestrone the basil tomato soup because the number one and the min and then the lentils soup and then I also had the lentil. 
Yeah, I had the yeah, lentil. Okay. It was really Very good. good. Yeah, yes. and then also we have a small slice cake. So they all include for half a pasta dish for ten ninety nine. So you have your lunch for all these things for ten dollar ninety nine. That's good. Or you have a full pasta with all those things you know include for fourteen ninety nine. Okay. And then uh, also uh, we they show us all the sauce so they can pick it, pick okay, like uh, we have uh, the pumarola. Uh, pumarola is uh, uh, the tomato fried tomato soup. Can I made uh, they cook it for f five hours in the stove? You know, for five hours. Five hours. You know. What time uh, do you guys go to work? Well, in the we start around the eight, eight or the eight o'clock. Depends, yeah. And then uh, we have uh, the salsa rosada they can choose, or the ragu. Ragu is also another very good salsa. I think it's one of my favorite salsa. And then it's with the um, meat, with the ground beef, okay. you know. And then uh, we have a burro and salvia, so a burro in butter and s um, sage. It's, a, it's a, like a creamy, and then it's melted with the pasta. Is and this the, on this menu uh, that you have here? No, yeah, we have it in the menu. We are, this is the Cappellini Letizia. Okay. And this is one of the. I can't let it just so sit here and get cold the, yeah, without talking it's about very it because good. it is so because delicious looking. Because also, you got those pasta with the chicken, grilled chicken, and then um, uh, all fresh vegetable. So practically, mm. you have all everything in one dish. It's so good. I don't good. even like broccoli, and, and that's then, delicious. Yeah. Yeah, and, and it's melted with the pesto, mm. and it's creamy pesto. Creamy pesto. So they enjoy her, they are not, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it's very, sometimes it's very hard to eat the angel hair, so you you need to know how to cook the angel hair. You do, mix. because it can get yeah. really soggy in a hurry. Yeah. It's true. And so practically the paste is uh, homemade from me, you know. Can you see this? And then well, we to, to our radio audience, name the things that are in here. we got chicken and carrots and broccoli, uh, chicken strips, and then the pasta, the angel hair pasta. And there's something in there, I don't know what that is. Yeah, they have a zucchini too. Mm. Yeah, cover flour. Cover flour. Yum. Mm. That is so good. I am so sorry on the radio that you cannot <laughs> see what I'm doing here. <laughs> this looks like a um, squash. Is what yes, is it? Zucchini. Zucchini. Yeah. zucchini. We call it zucchini in Italy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The other things so also can I really like in my restaurant. I really want to keep some name originally like uh, we say in Italy, you know. Even they say some the customer they say, What is that? You know, they don't know it doesn't mean zucchini, you know. But you um, want it to be authentic. Yes, I okay. want to be like uh, the Lord in Italia. It's not okay. just to come to eat and go home, you know. The atom they are cozy, the atmosphere, you know, and mm. fun, you know, learn something, you know, also when you when you eat, you need to learn something, you know. Yeah, we are bringing the art culture, no? Not just food, well, you but should. our yeah. culture. When we walk yeah. in the door and we're mm. in a different culture. Yeah. Yes. Uh, doesn't that sound lovely, me chatting away with my mouth full of food? <laughs> oh, that is so delicious. So we All right, so can I order these any time during yes. the day, yes. the evening, yeah. lunch? Yes. Does it make a difference? Yes. No, yeah, that's fine. You can call it to make it to go. And we don't do delivery, but we can, you know, they can call so to prepare the to go, even the, pani the sandwich. Do you have, um, can they pick up, order it, and come get it? Yes. And yes. Pick up and yeah. go. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if they need yes. to for a big party and do yes, you, you so do we catering. Do. Uh, we not do so much catering, for but uh, you know we did. We did. Uh, we're doing uh, some for uh, reception, you know, for business, dental business. You know, they call to us to prepare. They have uh, the menu, so they call and we prepare the food. They come to pick it up. Okay, that yeah. works. Doesn't yeah. It? In case of the big uh, party for you know catering, we can deliver the food. Well, now on your on your flyer yeah it says restaurant and market uh-huh and um oh, we haven't talked about this yet yeah the gelato. i know I, it's <laughs> melting and yeah. i feel i should eat it <laughs> and i should do that right away yeah. really quickly i probably poor little thing being neglected over here so yeah, all right smooth. tell them what i'm eating would you please a uh, <coughs> pistachio mm. so made with uh, you know uh, this is gelato, right? Uh -huh. yeah, gelato. Gelato. Yes. gelato. This is, is ice uh, cream, mm. but it's not because it's not, uh, what's in it? What's not in it? Uh, is okay, the difference between uh, the gelato ice cream is that uh, ge the gelato is very natural. It contains a uh, natural fruit. And, mm. uh, like in, in this case, p uh, this pistachio comes from, uh, from
from Italy, and they're very expensive. Oh, they're so uh, good. So it's no, it's no meat. What, so is there sugar added in this? No. There is uh, sugar, but uh, is no is, I mean, is uh, natural sugar. So okay. So so it doesn't have a lot of. Um, cream. So the, the difference it's between the gelato yeah, and ice cream is uh, that the gelato is natural, more natural than ice cream. So it's healthier. It's more healthier. Oh, it's yeah. uh, is uh, less mm -hmm. fat than uh, yeah. ice cream. Uh, so it contains less fat. All and right. It also does not contain so much air like uh, the ice cream. Because uh, the ice cream is whipped. Is whipped, this chocolate? <coughs> that one I think is a hazel. No, it's hazel. A amaretto. Oh, oh yeah. Amaretto okay. is uh, the, is the al bitter almonds. Mm. Very oh, good, uh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. I don't know how I can go home and cook yeah. for myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, without taking your class. Yeah. All right, let's talk about <laughs> that because she just announced that so that she's Gloria is going to be mm -hmm. teaching yes, I do. a four week class for $250, which is a deal because you prepare all, you uh, bring yes. all the food. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you just show up and they're yes. going to learn how to yeah. cook yeah. some of your dishes that you've yeah. had since childhood. Yeah. And, and it agree. starts yeah. the first Saturday of December, and I have no well, idea. January. 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 First Saturday so of January. I'm I think not sure it's the, the date the on it. Seventh? I think it's the 7th, 7th J January. January 7th? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. For more details, they can call or, okay. or just And the class is an hour and a half from 11 to 12.30. Mm -hmm. Does that sound right? Yeah. And so let me give this number again because you are going to want to be in this class. First of all, this is a very, very reasonable price to get to work with a chef of your nature and your talent and your skills and truly Thank like you. being right in Italy when they walk in the door. Mm -hmm. That's the truth. And the number to call to get yourself in this, because you can only handle about, what, 30 in a class, did you say? Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay. So to get into this class, you need to call 801-805-4913. 805-4913. And get on a list and get your money down to Gloria. Now, they're located, the restaurant's located exactly on the northeast corner of Center Street and University Avenue in Provo. They are number one, number one, number one. <laughs> and their suite is number 100. So <laughs> they are really the number. We're going to get through this menu yet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now you're going to tell us about sandwiches. Okay, a sandwich. A sandwich <clears throat> is very good. And then uh, the we made, the we have uh, the Michelangelo is very popular. And then it's made. Wait, what is that? What is that? Michelangelo, uh, I, we decided, me and my husband, to put the name of the sandwich on the. Um, Art. Italian artist. The people, the Italian artist. Okay. Like Michelangelo. So you name them? Uh -huh. Yes. And so Prati Michelangelo is made with the prosciutto crudo, and then it's very important. All the meat and cheese are important from Italy. Okay. Are they? Yes. So we made the, the we made the Michelangelo with the lettuce, tomato, artichoke, mozzarella, volina, and then the prosciutto crudo. Is a cured meat. It's a cured meat, yes. Cured, and ham. Then cured ham. You could really ruin people, you know. Uh -huh. They could get yeah. e used to eating <laughs> at your place, and that's a lot of food yeah. to go back to work, and all these mm -hmm. quick fix sandwich places will yeah. close down. Yeah. <laughs> when I you hope. told me. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> when you told me about your pizza, I wasn't even sure you were talking about the uh -huh. kind of pizza we eat here. Mm -hmm. It's so different. Yeah, we have a pizza the Monday through Thursday because, of course, we don't have we don't have a brick oven so we can do right now pizza in the friday and saturday but we do just monday through uh thursday? to thursday just in the dinner time monday through thursday yes, yes. okay but also it's coming up uh, uh, new menus oh new items and then they mm -hmm. come because they're really really good yes More i don't know how anybody could now. go to work after <laughs> they <laughs> and eat lunch with you but and yeah, in, fa in fact yeah, you take all kinds of cards, right? Yes. Yes, gift yes. card. Gift yes, ca gift for card. Christmas. Yes. You can have gift card. Yes. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. We have a great gift card for Christmas. It's in a lot of um, business shop, um, business company. They call or they buy, come to buy, you know, a gift card for the employees. I'm going to tell yeah. all my friends that I want yeah. them to go buy a gift card from you <laughs> with my name on it. <laughs> <laughs> now. What's really important is they're downstairs from our studio, from the radio and streaming video studio. And by the way, if you're with us, 
Well, excuse me, I'm still eating. <laughs> it's <laughs> pat.utahvalleylive.com. You can find us there. Um, we have Verl Osmond coming on at 9 in the morning. I'm on at 12. And starting December 1st, Monica Barber will be on with her talk show. And then at, of course, uh, 5 o'clock, you have Joy Bashirs with her show. And so we're slowly filling up all the airtime right. here. <laughs> and we're just upstairs, almost over, uh, right over the restaurant. We're exactly over Alan's camera shop. So uh, call us. My name is Pat Sheradian, of course. And the phone number is 801-362-9552. And I'll share Kayani with you. And I'll just force you to go down and eat all this good food. <laughs> it is the best treat. It is the best treat in Provo. I want to tell you, coming Thanks. into your restaurant is the Thank best you. treat in Pro Provo. So, I do want to ask. Yeah, we yeah. have to finish this yeah, menu. For, okay. In the first sandwich, mm -hmm. okay. we don't have a just Michelangelo, but we have also Dante's made it with the meatballs. Ah. So meatballs. A meatball made sandwich. With meat. <gasps> yeah. Love those. We have uh, the Machiavelli is made it with the chicken parmigiana. So those are they're really number one. But also we have a Nerone. People that like pancetta. Pancetta is bacon, but it's not American bacon. It's Italian pancetta. Mm. Okay, and so it's very good. They have a uh, bell peppers. We have a Tito. It's made with the sausage. Oh, I and like then, sausage. Uh, also the Nano. They're very you make popular. Your sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, we buy the sausage, but we cook. You cook. We marinate. Okay. I cook the sausage. Everything. The Domiziano is very good. The one is also with the salmon and garlic. And then salmon, I bake the salmon with the, my recipe. So they have a very, very, very good flavor. And then, uh, so uh, we made the panini, that one too. And so, so they are all very good. Also the business, uh, they have a 20% discount. So they come to eat at the restaurant. For business party, especially also for the, uh, the for the holiday, and even after the holiday, they can call to us, and then they can take a care. They reserve so their room. So this is for a group, a group yeah, coming group. in with for a group. business group. They okay. have a twenty percent discount. Oh, that's yeah. lovely, and that goes so, right through the holidays, yes. right to the first of the year. Well, yeah, and then even uh, okay. yeah after the holiday, maybe for the business okay. party. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, wonderful. We can Good. Want to keep it that one. Um, I have been there, and so the, this area she's talking about, they have these huge, lovely drapes that they drape around rather than shutting a door and it's on the window side you have almost windows from mm -hmm. all those little private rooms yeah. there and they're very very nice and it's right now you have a Christmas tree up I yes I do. Christmas yeah. tree suddenly yeah. got up and then actually I want to do this year the nativity Italian nativity ah. And then okay. so okay. as I, you know, the little corner before coming inside the restaurant. You're going to put it right there? Yes, I want to put it right there because they in Italy they're very important in the nativity. It's not like him feeling, you know, the costume where they come, the kids too, they can watch the nativity, you know. It's oh, something that's fun. so nice. Yeah. You, think, you think you love what you're doing? I do. But I, sometimes I'm very tired, you know, because, you know, in the business it's not just making food. But also, you know, keep the good quality from uh, like the serve, you know, the waiters. And then uh, I'm very, very picky, even in the cleaning and then, you know, in my kitchen and uh, all in the restaurant. So, and then uh, but I have a very good group right now. So well, I know I, I've met two of your yes. children at the restaurant. Yes. So yeah. it really is a family business. Uh -huh. That's yeah. great. All right. Now. <clears throat> Before I get rude and reach over everybody's arm and start eating all of this stuff, <laughs> I want you to tell me what is in this one with the strawberries on top. Okay, the strawberry <coughs> on top, they call it the strawberry carriage. This is all my name I put, you know. And so practically, strawberry carriage is uh, two layers of the chocolate, dark, dark chocolate with the Italian cream that has inside fresh strawberry. And inside their inside fresh strawberries? Inside their fresh strawberry. <gasps> And then have a whipping cream, and uh, called panna in Italy. And then uh, two slices of this is fresh strawberry on top. So this one is uh, one of the the number one in the restaurants. Yeah, oh, I those need are to wonderful. We have uh, one also. Well, all uh, practically number one, but the most popular the people the customer the but you know a lot. They are also another cake. Can I don't have it here, but they call it artificial cake. Is is made with uh, white and chocolate cake with Nutella and an Italian cream, and a filo dough or a shaving a filo dough around the cake. So that one is very. I, I need to tell is very. They go very fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yum. Now, <clears throat> my brother Dan Hux, who's just here from California, that I was talking about earlier, he picked this one out. 
Uh-huh. And what is that? Millefoglie. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to describe it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mille, uh, no, we have... Uh, mille, uh, Give me a, a f- big voice. Yeah, yeah. okay. It's a, it's a filo d'eau. We, we, we call millefoglie in Italy. So layers with the Italian cream inside and the outside also with the you know, with the filo d'eau inside outside and you know it's very good the cake. Is there a cream on the inside? There are yes. cream inside. Yeah, they are all the w- same w- cream. What am I looking at? They, they look like uh, almond slivers or something. No, what, it's what a is the shaving filo d'eau. Shaving filo d'eau. Yeah. I don't know what filo d'eau yeah. is. Filo d'eau is like a, a thousand leaves, you know, layers. and the layers. And then practically is um is it's like uh, um when you after cook they are like a shaving, you know. Um is it a, p- a pastry? Pastry. It's okay. a pastry, okay. yes. Uh, but uh, is um it's uh, like here in America they call it a thousand leaves. Okay. And then uh, that's why, you know, like a Napoleon. Okay. You know? mm-hmm. uh, but mm-hmm. uh, that one is not Napoleon. Like that one is, we call it Millefoglie because it's like a thousand leaves. So, but it has Italian cream inside and then all the shaving the same on top and around it and the um, powdered sugar. There is a powdered sugar on top. Oh, my goodness, yeah. my goodness. It's very light, you know. I also, all my cake, they are not lots of sugar and uh, they're very light. Yeah. And the other one, now we have a chocolate one. The one that she's just describing is kind of a vanilla color, cream color. But now we have chocolate and it looks like snows on it, but I'm yeah. assuming that's uh, sugar. Yeah, that one is <coughs> called Vulcano. <coughs> Vulcano, what does yes. that mean? Yes, Vulcano <coughs> is... Vulcano. Uh, Vulcano, Vulcano. Lava, lava. Lava. Oh, okay, no. lava, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a dark chocolate cake with a mascarpone cheese. So the same cream I use for Wait, making... Wait, you got cheese in the cake? Yes. Yes. Sweet it's cheese. Sweet cheese. It's made for cakes. Yeah, the cheese is important from Italy, and practically I made this creamy, very yummy creamy, and I use the same to make the tiramisu. Uh, because at the restaurant we serve also tiramisu with chocolate, I mean without coffee, and with coffee. So the same cream I use for this type of the cake called Vulcano. There are two layers of chocolate with the cream, the mascarpone cheese inside, and then crumb uh, chocolate all around the the, uh, the cake. That yeah. tastes good and i haven't even tasted it it just sounds so good now expense do these cost a great deal of money to come in just say somebody wanted yeah. to come in just for a little dessert in the afternoon yeah uh, that cost uh, in some uh, three dollar fifty or that's not uh, bad then, no, four fifty you know we have uh, the tiramisu for uh, four fifty, <coughs> and then uh, uh, we have a cannoli siciliani with the ricotta cheese inside and chocolate chips. We have uh, the artificial mm, cake. We so I do good. also a cake for birthday cake. For the it's birthday? It's not just for the restaurant. Yes. So people they can call me, and they can come to try. You know, uh, I give a sample to the cake they they want to try. And then, so they can call me or they can come. Is it a sheet the, cake or a layer it's cake? It's a round, round, round the eight cake. inches okay. cake, you know, double. Or I can do also, I do also half a sheet or full sheet, you know, depends for how many people. I did it for party, I did it for um, reception, for wedding reception, you know. And I did also wedding cake for all my cakes in a, you know, in a wedding cake. Like oh the, my I did a, a month ago with the strawberry carriage in a, in a wedding cake. And I did uh, also the Vulcano. So it depends, you know. I don't do very often wedding cake because I don't have so much time, but I really enjoy do it. And then also, anyway, I do a half a sheet around it. And so people that like it, they like it, is come to order my cake because they are fresh, they are homemade, they are not uh, anything, uh, you know, um, they're good. So they, they like it, good. they come. <laughs> and so they spend, uh, they start uh, for a whole cake, they started $30. $30 yes. for cake? Okay. For cake. Now, I'm, I was asking a question here because you, I wanted to question what the market is. Can they uh-huh. come in and buy different things in your yes. restaurant? Yeah. yeah. As if in a market? Yeah, we have you know, uh, Italian products like um, cured meat. We have ch- cheeses importing from Italy. We have mozzarella. 
So, so they can come in and yeah. purchase uh -huh. rice? Yes, we so have also, make whatever yeah. they're doing yeah, at we home, pasta, make a sandwich we have some at home. Pasta, yes. We have some mm -hmm. lady fingers, no? So it's a restaurant, it's a market, and then a gelato. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's going to be my downfall, yeah. you know that. I'm going to hang out down there in the afternoons. Talk to me about some of the awards, because um, you did mention the five or four and a half stars, and so okay. maybe some awards that you've won, did we'll repeat them, uh, a couple of those again. Uh-huh. Yeah, we won the the best uh, international food from from the the program was uh, in downtown international cuisine in in 1909 yeah, of the valley uh huh okay so and then there's the another one best uh, italian in uh -huh. 2010 yes. best of utah county best eatery with live music and just this year yes mm -hmm. yeah so you won these all these awards now in the restaurant that you grew up in with your family was it uh, this kind of restaurant that you have now? I mean, obviously it was in Italy, so it mm -hmm. had that flavor always. Yeah. Then did the other 12 children, mm -hmm. you were one of yeah. 13? No, no. No, they 13. were one of 13. It was yes. 13. Okay. Yeah. Did your siblings grow up in the business yes. also? Yeah, yeah. And mm -hmm. open restaurants? Yes. yes. No. Mm -hmm. Well, no, no open no, restaurant. No. Who opened the restaurant it was uh, uh, my grandpa. They used to have a, a lot of small restaurant by the beach because the daughter, you know, all the rich people, they been from Pisa, you know, come down in the summertime also. When they did all those uh, restaurants, they was open, so they spend the time on the beach. But they your brothers and sisters. Not my brother and sister, but uh, my no, dad, but the brother and sister. But that's sister. my asking. Yeah. Did anyone else but you, of the uh -huh. children, open a restaurant? No. Yes, uh, only, who, you. Who? only you. Only you. Yeah. Yeah. Only me. Yes, huh. only me. And then I have a cousins in Italy, but she have a, like a... Um, they call alimentari is like market. Okay. Yeah, they do some sandwich or focaccia. So and then, they all know what you're doing. Uh huh. Yes. And they're very proud yeah. of you. Yeah, I, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that they are. <coughs> okay, yeah. I want to go over some of the things here that we've got going on. Um, well, let's talk. Before I do that, uh -huh. oh, you, we've just gone through a lunch menu. And can you tell me, is this also available all day up until your hours in the evening, or is that a dinner menu at that time? This, uh, this is just for lunch. It <coughs> starts at 11 to 2 30. And then uh, we have a dinner time, it's a different price. Okay, yes. so um costs a little bit more in the evening. Uh, dinner time, uh, we start. Uh, yeah, from uh, uh, $12 <coughs> to until, no? Uh, 18. Up 18. To okay. I think $18. Um, but uh, also, uh, you are closed a couple of hours in the afternoon. Yes. People should know that. Yes, yes because uh, we are Italians, so, no? We, we need do a break. like Italians, so we need to take a break. break. <laughs> so, no, uh, so a can, pause. So you don't make you go, yourselves crazy if, by working if you go, for yeah. 15 hours in a straight stretch. Okay. Yeah, if you go in Italy, uh, from now from 12, no, maybe from 2 to 4, you don't find anything open in downtown. I grew up in a town like yes. that in South Carolina. Yeah. Uh -huh. <coughs> the, the whistle went off at noon, everybody went home. Yes. <laughs> to have lunch yes and they stayed there for yeah. a couple of hours and then they yes. came back to work about 2 30. Yes. yes so a little siesta yeah a little siesta <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way it should be done <laughs> and so it gives you a break yes we need they also pay for prepare also for the dinner time you know and so um, and then i think the people i know here in america they work you know all day you know they don't have a but I think the break they can have it to come to lunch is around the 11 to 2 o'clock. Okay. And so we prefer to take a break also for us and then open again at 4.30. At 4.30 yeah. for your, what they call the dinner, dinner. crowd. Yes, okay. dinner for la cena. Uh, yeah. And then how many people, you told me the other night and I don't remember, how many people can you seat in your restaurant? It, 120. 120 yeah. because that's a large area yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the kitchen is behind all of that, right? Yes, yes. yes. And um, so w for Christmas, let's go over some of the things you're going to be doing for Christmas, Rudy, before we run out of time. Are you the only authentic <coughs> Italian restaurant? We're getting notes from the Internet here uh -huh. in the area. Is there any other Italian restaurant that you know of? There no. are uh, some uh, Italian restaurants in the area, but... Uh, but not authentic. Not authentic, authentic no. like us. No. So. 
even family business i think we are the number one i'm sorry but we are the number one <laughs> <laughs> do not apologize <laughs> and also the audience wants to know to know what's my favorite dish yes okay. i saw that yes so my favorite dish is arrabbiata is a spicy sauce tomato sauce we you know with we, uh, we put um, you know, uh, pepper flakes uh-huh so it's very you know it's very is it spicy food and then you put that over what with, and the uh, pomarola. with pomarola yeah that is sauce. what pomarola is uh, without meat it's my salsa made oh okay yeah so practically the ragu the pomarola is uh, over the, pasta yes then? yeah we i prepare in the morning and then practically we use also for making some dishes like the arrabbiata like the salsa rosata you know there are no cans i mean they are really i mean you everything can, is you fresh, taste, fresh you know fresh, the fresh. flavor oh, yeah made from scratch you know so the ar arrabbiata means uh, angry mm. so angry means no like uh, very <laughs> no. tough tough yeah. Okay. So, and also, do you ever somebody in the um, our has in our entered our chat room and wants to know if Maro ever eats anywhere else? Yeah, okay. I like American food. Yeah. You do? Yes, I know. Well, start with uh, fried chicken. Uh, yeah. How are you with fried chicken? <laughs> yeah, Kentucky fried chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, I like uh, also. Members. I like yeah. country food. Uh -huh. So no. How about Mexican restaurants? We do yeah. like it. Chinese. Like, yeah. And mm. no, very much. None. No. It doesn't have. It, well, Thai food has a, a different taste. It can be bright spicy. Yeah. Yeah, we yes. like the rice and we like the chicken, uh, orange chicken. Orange chicken. <laughs> orange chicken. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. Everybody likes orange uh, chicken. Fries, ice cream, you yeah. know. But uh, we don't like yeah. this. But so Italian is the best. <laughs> 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 Italian Everyone is loves the best. Italian. Everybody loves Italian. <laughs> All right, now let's talk about what's going on right now. With Thanksgiving coming up, um, you're going not to be. You're not going to be open on Thursday or Friday or Saturday, right? Because yes, we talked right. about yes. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you won't be able to come and have turkey dinner there because they're going to go do their own thing at yeah. home, yes. right, with their family. Long siesta. Yes, long well, siesta. Yeah. <laughs> we <laughs> we did it also last year. Once a year, we want to take just the three days and stay with our family, our kids, because we don't spend too much time with them. And so we apologize, but you can come after. We open also, you know, after Monday and after for dinner. And then so, um, uh, anyway, so this uh, that's why, you know, mm, our religion, you know, with our culture, we want to spend just a few days with our kids. So that's why we close for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Well, let's talk about December then. Yes. Let's talk about your classes. <clears throat> now, Gloria is going to be teaching. And to have a chef of her um, award-winning and talented background is really phenomenal. And she's right here in Provo at uh, Gloria's Italian Restaurant located on Center Street and University Avenue in Provo. And she's going to be starting classes. They will start the first Saturday in December, which we think no, is... January. January. Pardon me, January. Please don't come in December. <laughs> the first of, the, of January. January, which we think is the seventh, right? Yes, we agree with that. And uh, the class begins from it's from 11 to 12:30, and you have to register ahead of time. At least give them a call. It is $250, which is a deal any way that you look at it. And uh, she can only handle about 30 people in her kitchen and so forth at one time. But you just show up. She's providing everything else at Gloria's uh -huh. restaurant. A little Italian restaurant <laughs> and uh, so that is really the wonderful thing there that just we don't get that very often in this valley and then Santa is coming to Gloria's Little Italy on December 23rd and she says in this note to me make reservations now and I would suggest you do that so again the phone number is 801 for let's see 805 801 805 Four nine one three eight zero five four nine one three, and then again, I want to remind everybody that there is music every Friday and uh, Saturday evening for dinner. Yeah. A lot of fun going on now, and um, 
Santa's going to be right there in the middle of the whole thing on the uh -huh. 23rd, right? Yes. So you're encouraging yeah. people to bring children? Yes. yes. Bring in your family, your children, so they have a lot of fun with Santa. And, and uh, you guys take <coughs> a picture with them, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, with you? Yeah. With me? Yeah, they can call. <laughs> I'm back in the kitchen most of the time, but uh, <laughs> I tell my waitress who want to know me, I can come. Because sometimes they think I'm fake. You know, <laughs> one time happened. Uh, somebody I was working at the restaurant. Uh, I listened. Somebody said, oh, "This is Gloria," and uh, one of the way she said, "Yes." Also, she's. Are you really real? I said, "Yeah." Do you want to touch me <laughs> 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 to prove that you're really real? <laughs> yeah, I think that's great. Well, then you told yeah. me a story the other day that some skiers were in town. Uh -huh. And uh, they couldn't stop hugging you and thanking yes. you for the good food. I thought that was such a great yes. story. Yeah, You probably have lots of those. And one of the things that I really enjoyed today was meeting one of your daughters. Uh -huh. And she's very much in the kitchen uh -huh. with yes. you. And are yes. any, either one of the daughters or your son planning on taking over yes. or running the business with you? or um, I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe someday. I'm not sure now. He's, uh, he's 28. He's working uh, on front desk, you yes. know, and then yes, Sam, uh, yes, Sam. Sam. Uh -huh. yes, yeah, and then uh, um, Letitia, she working uh, helping me in the kitchen and do some accounting. And, and she and sent out uh, emails to all your friends yes, today. Yes, yes, she's very good. And then she's graduated from BYU two years ago, and then uh, she was enjoy working with uh, her business. And then uh, Katie Denise, she's uh, in school right now in a beauty school. And then she's um, doing babysitting during the morning when my daughter she working with us, and then sometimes she come at the restaurant to help us. Yeah. So do you have? <coughs> excuse me. Do you have Thanksgiving dinner with your family in the restaurant, or no. do you have it at home? We That's have home. it at home. Yes, I'm gonna cook it the turkey. And then I actually made it with the Italian season. So I Tell have me it. about that Italian uh, seasoning. I bet that's you know an what? amazing dressing. You know what? Maybe I can dressing. do it, you guys. I can do this uh, secret recipe because <laughs> I have a friend in California. They call me and they say, Gloria, I have some company for this kiwi. You need to tell me the recipe because, you know. And practically, you know, I drug, you know, my turkey. So I, I have uh, fresh rosemary and uh, fresh sage fresh garlic, a little bit of lemon peppers, and extra virgin oil, that's very good extra virgin oil, and you chop all those things and then put all it together in a bowl, mix with the oil, and put salt and pepper, and then you start making a hole with a knife all around the turkey and put the glove fresh garlic inside. Oh my god. And then a piece of the rosemary <coughs> inside. After that one you put in a big pan where we cook the turkey and then you uh, put all these uh, marinate uh, spicy uh, herbs on top of the turkey and you walk joke around with the turkey and mix all inside. Be aside. careful, you're gonna have everybody yeah. trying to find you. <laughs> my brother's raised his hand. Kids raise his hand. <laughs> Everybody here wants to be part of your turkey dinner. And then, uh, <laughs> you cover with the uh, aluminum and you leave it overnight in the cooler. In the morning, you take it out, you add a little bit more oil, and then you cook <coughs> in the stove until they're done. And I you know, uh, trust me, everybody they ask you this recipe, this is the first time I told you, and it's very, very good. Thank you, Gloria. Yeah. Thank you, Moro. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Gloria's Italian Restaurant in Provo. Thank you for being with us today, for finding time in your life to spend some time with us. We appreciate that. And we'll be back with you tomorrow and look forward to that. Have a safe and good day and be healthy. And come down to Provo and meet these lovely people, Gloria's Little Italian Restaurant. I guess it's Little Italy, isn't it? Yeah, Little yes. Italy. Little Italy. <laughs> Let me get that right. And thank you. And we appreciate Kent Borkink and Pete Hansen. Uh, they own the Utah Valley Live. We appreciate having them work with us to make this all happen. And we are happy to tell you that we have moved, of course, and we're downtown Provo also. Bye-bye.